to record our own melodies, chords, note sequences into Soundbeam 5, we press the note sequence button and navigate to the first available user note sequence. From here, we page right will take us to the record division page and here we enter our notes one at a time. Okay, so if we're happy with that, we press confirm to save and confirm to continue and we can begin to rename our note sequence using the plus and minus left and right buttons. We've just used the purple switch buttons across the top to enter these notes. The range button and the four orange beam buttons are also part of the uh, musical keyboard that's offered here for this purpose. Once you've entered the letters, numbers and named your note sequence, press confirm to save it. Now here if we press the note sequence again and page right, we could overwrite it. We could put it in again, change it. So let's do it again, but this time let's use an external MIDI keyboard. So we can connect the MIDI output of the keyboard to the MIDI input of the Soundbeam 5 using a standard MIDI cable. Using a keyboard like this it's a little easier to get your chords in and melodies. So with the Soundbeam primed ready in the record division mode, as we play the notes in, they'll come in sequentially as before, over the top of the ones we had just recorded. So we press confirm to save, confirm to continue, and here's where we might rename it, but if we want to just use the same name, just hit confirm again. So that's our user note sequence recorded, named and saved. So next we'll look at assigning our user note sequence that we've just created to a switch. So let's get a switch, check it's working, uh, press the switch 1 button and then the note sequence button and here we'll use the plus button to navigate through the available note sequences until we reach our Note sequence. Now we'll have to change uh, a couple of things here, the number of divisions that are assigned to that switch and the trigger mode. So if we press a note sequence, we can see here that there's 12 divisions in this note sequence. So we'll press the divisions button and change that to 12. The other thing we'll need to change is the trigger mode. And we'll change that to cyclic single so that each sequential press takes us through our notes. it done. If we want to save our to save our work in progress, we press the sound set button, confirm, confirm to save, then we'll open right 34 to 34, and here we can rename our sound set in the usual way using the plus and the minus buttons to select the different numbers and letters that we might like to make use of. Obviously, it's a good idea to rename our sound sets, our note sequences, and samples so that we and our colleagues can keep tabs on what's uh, in use, what's required. So that's recording a note sequence, assigning it to a switch, and saving a sound set in Soundbeam 5.